I am a student of history and words that have lifted men and women to the pinnacles of power, words that won wars, lifted nations, words that have freed millions from the yoke of bondage, words that inspired revolutions. What a candidate says, what you say, and how you say it is the greatest and most powerful asset you will ever have. It is the basis upon which voters will judge you. It is the basis upon which they'll decide to trust you with their most sacred of all possessions, their vote. During the course of your campaign, words will be used in speeches, press conferences, press interviews, in debates, encounters on the campaign trail, the events you attend, in conversations that you have if you go door to door. For all the talk in recent years about social media, micro-targeting, and the high-powered bells and whistles in the political marketplace, too little has been said about the lost art of political poetry. We live in a world that desperately hungers for candidates that offer inspiration and some hope that tomorrow will offer a brighter day. Here is an eternal truth. If you're hitting a responsive chord with the electorate, offering words that lift, speaking with authenticity, connecting with the hopes and dreams of those whose votes you seek, your candidacy will catch fire. If you don't, it won't matter how many bells and whistles you use. Many countries in this world are going through a difficult time, and even those that are not have mammoth problems. A suggestion to you if you plan to lead a community or a city or a country through a difficult time. Lift people up. Use your words to help people believe in what they can do with their God-given talent. Allow yourself to be an inspiration to a community or a city or country that needs some heroes. Rather than denigrate, inspire. Rather than bemoan the present, paint a picture of what can be. Instead of inciting hatred and instilling fear, rise above the chorus of our age and dare to sing a different song. History does not well regard those who win by spewing hate or sowing conflict. There's a special place in the history books for those who give life to a worthy cause, even if they come up short at the ballot box.